Thank you very much, Tom. I have to tell you that the last two hours in this stadium mean, have been one of which memories have made. Three, 4,000 Irish people stayed and watched the England-France match on the big screens. They cheered and groaned with every moment that ebbed and flowed Ireland's way and then against them. And it was a day, Donald, and you've been around this game, you won't mind me saying, for a long time, that it's hard to remember you could top it. That's unbelievable. I mean, the scenes here, as you said, every French try was cheered. Uh, Allez Le Bleu was sung all through the match, every England point. Uh, the groans from the crowd, I mean, what a way for the Irish team to sit back. Uh, there was doubts about, you know, when would they make these presentations, but the manner of the victory now is even better, the way it's transpired. In the end, Royal six-point differential. Jamie Heaslip tracking back and uh, preventing Stuart Hogg from getting that try in the corner. Just how crucial that proved. Well, sometimes it's about winning, and then the icing on top is how you win it. And today is a day that those men and those men and women who are here to support will forever remember and wonderful, stage, wonderful scenes at Murray Field. And it is an absolute pleasure and an absolute privilege to say for 2015, Ireland are the back-to-back -back Six Nations champions. A word, Donald, on that group, but particularly on that man, Joe Schmidt, and what he's achieved in those two seasons. Well, it's been a remarkable week. I mean, the heads were bowed after that uh, chastely defeat in, Mar in, in Cardiff last week. Uh, you know, they had their sights at a grand slam. All that blew up in their faces. But to turn it around in the manner they did, the way they changed their whole approach during the game, from right from the off, was keeping ball in hand, and, uh, you know, the, the game manager, I think, of Johnny Sexton, unbelievable. But Paul O'Connell, in lifting the trophy, he's joined an elite band. Only two people prior to this. Carl Mullen, 48-49, had um, Captain Ireland to win back-to-back -back championships. Kieran Fitzgerald in 1982 and 1985 championships and now Paul O'Connell uh, two and no player deserves it more he's been unbelievable for Ireland right throughout this campaign well there will be a party making a point of the obvious that will go long long into the night in Edinburgh and it's hard to say that it won't be a night to remember from everybody in Edinburgh back to studio